Hello everyone, welcome to Prompt Engineering Podcast. In this video, we will dive deep in some interesting chat GPT prompts that will enhance your experience. So without wasting time, let's get started. There is another very powerful prompt engineering technique you should be aware of. In certain situations, you can get dramatically better results by forcing ChatGPT to outline its thought process. So to say, or put in other words, if you get ChatGPT to describe how it derived a certain solution instead of just giving you the solution, you can in certain situations get away better results. And the reason for that simply is that in the end, as you learned in the previous episodes as well, chat GPT and all these large language models are about predicting words in the end. They are about predicting text based on the text you pass to them and the text they already generated. And if they output an entire thought process that can therefore lead to better results. Since they have more words to build up the overall response and more words that need to be kinetic logically, then if you just ask for a shorter or single result, for example, and here's a pretty good example that shows what I mean. If you ask ChatGPT for the result of a mathematical calculation and you force it to give you just the result without describing how it got there, chances are that you are getting a wrong result. For example, here the correct result would have been 80. But since ChatGPT is no calculator but instead just a tool that predicts words, here it predicted the wrong word. And of course, as also mentioned before, it's totally possible that you got the right result for this specific example because there is some randomness involved. But simply try a couple of different calculations and chances are high that with this prompt where you are forcing chat GPT to give you just one single result instead of giving you an entire explanation, you are sometimes getting wrong results. If you instead would send a prompt that looks something like this, where you tell chat GPT that it should not just give you the final result, but instead kind of derive the result chances are that you are getting a correct result, which in this case here indeed is the case. So here it indeed ends up with 80, which is the correct result. Because it outlined its thought process and it basically derived this result step by step. ChatGPT can do better maths actually, like a calculator if you have access to ChatGPT Plus and have enabled its advanced data analysis feature. It actually uses the Python libraries to solve problems, but this is a beta feature currently available to only plus users at the time I am recording this video. Of course, in reality, you would probably be using it for prompts like this, where you are maybe asking for three key metrics to analyze a company. You might be getting good results here, no matter how you post this prompt or how you send this prompt. But you also might get better results if you get ChatGPT to outline its thought process that leads to certain metrics being suggested. Now, here in this case, it turns out that it actually gave me more than three metrics. Or to be precise, it kind of gave me three groups of metrics here with sub-metrics or certain factors. Of course, you can narrow down this to just three metrics overall if you wanted to. But what you can see is that indeed it does describe in detail why certain metrics were picked and therefore as mentioned this prompting technique where you get chat GPT to outline its thought process can lead to better results. Now one more trick which I want to show you which also explores how chat GPT can help you use chat GPT more efficiently is that you ask ChatGPT to give you the prompt for some example output you defined. So you can tell ChatGPT to give you the prompt that could produce some example output provided by you. For example, here I'm using this technique to get a prompt that could have been sent to ChatGPT to get an output like this. So this is the output I normally would want to get from ChatGPT, but now here with this technique, we are asking ChatGPT which prompt could have been used to generate this output. 
and the goal of course is to learn how we can write efficient prompts that are understood by chat gpt now as always when using chat gpt the prompt we are about to get will of course be generated based on probabilities and statistics but nonetheless this can sometimes give you good ideas and therefore is also a technique or a trick you should be aware of and if we now take this prompt here and we send it to chat gpt we therefore do get a result that is somewhat similar to the example output we did provide to chat gpt earlier now here it's actually way more detailed than the example output i provided before which we could consider to be a good thing but if you would summarize it the content would roughly be the same and therefore asking chat gpt for prompt ideas can be a nice trick for scenarios where you maybe have some example output but you are not quite sure which questions you should ask chat gpt in order to get similar or more detailed output like this if you are hungry for more exciting chat gpt prompts and want to play with them there's a github repository which will serve you very well here you will find many example prompts which you can use as inspiration. Now I will say right away to me some of these prompts seems to be over engineered and might actually contain too much information. But of course that will always depend on the exact use case you have. And there is nothing wrong with simply taking some of these prompts and playing around with them. And on pages like this one here, you find a vast amount of example prompts, which you can play around with them and which might be exactly the prompt you need for your specific problem. Now, as you go through these prompts, you will see that most of these prompts do indeed assign a role and then set a goal and in the end are all about providing that context about which you learn in this prompt engineering podcast already. Last but not least, in the end, I want to show you another very good trick to separate instructions from content. This will be very helpful if you are pasting a very long content and giving chat GPT instructions to manipulate the content. For example, summarizing a very long article with special instructions. Sometimes when passing long pieces of content to chat GPT, which then in the end are mixed up with your own instructions that refer to that content. Chat GPT can have problems differentiating the content on which it should work from your other instructions. So you could also separate the main content on which chat GPT should work from your other instructions by wrapping it up with three double quotes, for example. So with an identifier like this. Of course, at the start and at the end of the content you have pasted. This will always make sure to give you correct results instead of mixing your instructions with the content. So it's also a concept and a trick you should be aware of. That's all for today. Stay tuned if you want to see more exciting content like this. See you soon again. Until then, bye-bye.